So if you're interested in hearing how my wife has helped me make millions of dollars, you're gonna love today's video because the truth is that if I was single, I'd be broke. There's zero chance that I would be as successful as I am today if I was single or I was single the majority of my entrepreneurial career because when I was single, I was a bonehead, right? I was always trying to think about dating and girls and there was so much energy and bandwidth that was being utilized for that that once I got married, it basically was like, all right, that's done, taken care of. I know that I got you know, somebody at home. I don't have to think about dating. I'm not going out. I'm basically being able and allowed to focus on the things that really matter and the things that are going to move the needle. When you take action or ass or sex off the table, and not that it wasn't off the table, it was, you know what I'm trying to say, like chasing it. When you take it off the table and you don't have to worry about it, you can focus. Now, my wife, the reason why, okay, so let me, let me, let me back up for a second. Today I wanna to talk about her because it's something that I don't talk much about. You've also never seen her in a video because one of the things that I decided in the beginning of my YouTube journey back in 2008 was that I didn't wanna include my personal life or the people that I care about in my videos because I saw what was happening to me, right? I developed thick skin, but it's not easy. Even if you've got a good secure sense of self, hearing that you suck or hearing that you're ugly or fat or whatever never feels good and even today, even though I've been doing it for a long time, even the criticism today sometimes gets to me. Sometimes I choose not to get into the comments because I really don't wanna hear what people have to say. And honestly, I knew that from the beginning, regardless of how beautiful somebody is, regardless of how amazing they feel about themselves or secure they are, hearing criticism when you're not asking for it is even more devastating. And so I decided from a very early time when I started YouTube that there was gonna be a line. YouTube and the videos and the stuff that I put out public facing was gonna be about me and I was going to save some things for me. I was gonna save my personal life. I was gonna save my wife. I was not gonna put them out there because in my opinion, that is one of the quickest ways to destroy somebody's A, self-esteem, but also your relationship. You look at all these people that have their spouse or their significant other in all their videos, right? That is a recipe for disaster. There is such an emotional toll when you do content and when you put out videos, you know, being a creator, it's amazingly hard. It's also amazingly brutal when things aren't going well. And can you imagine always jamming a camera in your significant other's face or always trying to make content instead of just being with your partner or being with the person that you love and basically having downtime? F that, right? It's not worth it. Nothing is worth it. Money is not worth it. It's not worth it. And so for me, one of the best decisions I ever made was deciding I'm gonna draw a line and I'm gonna keep my wife out of the business. I'm gonna keep her out of the public eye and I'm gonna have that for me. That's mine. You guys get this, but that, it's mine. Now, that being said, it is not easy being married to me or any entrepreneur, if I'm being honest, because you have to sacrifice, right? If you have a family, you've got to sacrifice because being an entrepreneur, it's a 24 by seven job, right? You're doing it all the time. Even if you're taking time off and you're with your kids, are you present? And that's one of the hardest things, you know, being an entrepreneur, it's not for everybody. It's not for most people. Now, if you're ready to sign up for it and you think you can do it and you're ready and it's in your blood and your DNA, then you should go for it. But if you're not, if you're not sure, if you're gonna dip your toe in or do it half ass it's really hard to be successful. It's also impossible to be successful if you've got a spouse or a significant other that is not supportive of what you're doing. My wife, she always knew that I wanted to be an entrepreneur. When she met me, I had the fitness center, right? And I was super proud. I was like, yeah, I got a business, right? Because I was a young dude, I had this business. Now, fast forward, you know, a few years, she probably regretted it. She wished I didn't, and that's the truth. Because when I was filing bankruptcy, and I was going through all that stuff, she saw the toll it took on me emotionally and mentally. And my wife is not, as in like 0% entrepreneur. She's a worker bee. Not that she's not an incredible worker bee, but the world needs them, right? She wants to go to work. She wants a job. She wants a 401k. She wants to punch out on the weekends, right? And not have to think about it. She never loved going to work, right? She was good at what she did. She was a marketing director um, before she retired <laughs> because recently, as of uh, December, my wife actually retired. Um, it, that's a whole nother story. If you want me to tell you the story about why I made my wife work um, up until basically last year, 
um, down below say, yo, Alpha, tell us why you're such an a-hole, even though we don't have kids and, and all that good stuff. Um, I feel that everybody needs purpose and direction. And if you think that every day is Saturday, it kind of becomes unspecial. Anyway, that's beside the point. I'm an entrepreneur. I can never think of not doing anything. But um, <laughs> it's, we're like six months in and my wife is still like, like loving it. And she absolutely is just, you know, she's enjoying not working and doing whatever the fuck she wants. And I am so happy she can do that because something about my wife and one of the things that I admire, respect, and fell in love with was what a hard worker she is. Uh, my wife left home when she was 16 years old. Um, there was, you know, lots of issues in terms of her, her mom, her dad died when she was young, her mom had substance abuse issues. And so my wife, she left home, she slept on couches, but she still managed to graduate during the time she worked. So my wife was a worker from the age of like 16, she was busting her ass and surviving. She worked her ass off and just kept climbing different ladders, different jobs, different corporations. She worked for an architecture firm and then she worked for engineering firms. And and literally, she was the marketing director for a huge engineering firm. And she was killing it. She was top of her game. And um, she was making you know, over $100,000 a year. It was a great job. And it was OK. You know, she didn't love it. She liked the job. But she never really loved like going to work. So anyway, for the majority of our relationship, she was the breadwinner up until you know, a few years ago, honestly. And so she never made me feel bad about not making a lot of money when I wasn't making any money. You know, she always believed in me. She knew that someday I'd do something. She just didn't know. And, and every day, like not every day, but often she'll be like, I just can't even believe this. Like, it's just so crazy. I'm like, I know. And, um, you know, it's awesome. And it's awesome that I can help her and support her. And, you know, she now has the time to kind of do whatever she wants. And I told her, I said, you know what? You retire, whatever retirement looks like to you. You can choose to you know, cook and putz around the house. You can go to the gym. You can do whatever you want. You can go to coffee with your friends. I don't care. You know, or if that means you want to start a business or get another job or be a florist, like whatever. The world is your oyster and you can literally do whatever you want to do. But the truth is that if I needed her to and I was like, yo, we're broke or we're going broke because I'm building too many big expensive houses, you need to go back to work. She'd do it in a heartbeat. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of talk a little bit briefly about my wife and the, the significance behind what she has allowed me to do and what she has helped me to do. Uh, because I think the spouses of entrepreneurs or anybody who's successful is a thankless job. And it's also something that is hard. It's hard for them to sit back and watch you struggle. It's hard for them to sit back and endure the pain, whether or not it's something not working or you being beaten up emotionally. Because as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, you're going to have these issues. You know, I try not to ever bring things home. And one of the things I'll say to her when I'm having a bad day, I'll be like, you just don't hear about the stuff that I'm dealing with because I don't want to burden her. And honestly, she didn't sign up for it. I guess she kind of did because she's my, my wife, but you know, I don't want to bring it home. And so I don't want to make her stress out. I don't want to make her worry. I want her to just basically be like, hey, honey, and, and have a great day. And, and so a lot of the things that I deal with or struggle with, I keep inside and I don't talk about it, or I talk about it with my friends, which is why it's so incredibly important to have an incredible network. I've talked about the importance of finding your tribe before, right? Antonio Centeno, the men influential media, marketing director, Mike Levy, like these people that I have surrounded myself with are my tribe. These are the people that I need in my life for the outlet, right? You need to find people that are similar to you. And when I found the Men Influential Conference, or I should say I found Antonio Centeno, or I should say he found me because at the beginning of my relationship with Antonio, I fucking hated him because I'm like, yo, who's this dude? Who's this guy that's doing YouTube videos? But he was like, hey, you know, why don't we get together? Why don't we meet up in California? Up until this point, I thought it was either me eating or you eating. If you were eating, that meant that I was starving. I didn't have the mindset of we rise and grow together or the tide rise, a high tide rises all ships. I didn't have that mentality. Antonio taught me that. And then when we developed this men influential media and conference and all the people and all these other entrepreneurs, everything in my life got better. I finally found like I had people that got me because going to parties with my wife's friends who have a nine to five job that are excited about going to Disney World, they don't get me. You need to find those 
people, whether or not it's at a networking event, people in your local community that are also business owners or online, right? You got to find them because these people are going to be there. They're going to understand. A lot of them have been through the situations you're going through and they'll get it. And they also are going to bring more value to you. And so for me, you know, I don't like to talk about business with my wife. Now, once in a while, I like being like, yo, baby, get check it out. I just did $700,000 this month. And Pete made it's amazing, right? And she'll be like, great job, baby. And she'll be like, where do you want to go to eat this weekend, right? And so she's supportive, but she's as supportive as she can be and as I need her to be. I don't want her up in my business. I don't want her all in my entrepreneurial, like, like butt sniffing around. Like, I don't need that, right? A lot of people would be like, oh, does your wife work with you? I'm like, no. God, no, that would taint and destroy like the normalcy and the beauty of our relationship. I want her to stay in her lane and I want to stay in my lane, but it works. You know, we don't have kids. We've got cats. We've got a beautiful life and I love her. And if it wasn't for her, I know that I wouldn't be where I am today. It was because of her. It was because of her support. It was because of her understanding. It was because of her taking care of business at home and me not having to worry or think about getting sex outside or dating or going out or drinking or doing stupid shit when I was drunk. It was because I had a foundation. It was because I had stability. And it was this stability that allowed me to grow and flourish as an entrepreneur. But this video is dedicated to all those women and dudes that that are standing behind the entrepreneur. You're not gonna get the accolades. You're not gonna get the good job and the support. It's gonna be the entrepreneur, but you are the reason why they're able to do what they do.